U.S. and Pakistan set to upscale the trade ties. After a seven-year break, the U.S. and Pakistan have decided to have the first ever ministerial meeting between the officials of the two sides. The meeting will be held between the Commerce Minister, Sayyid Naveed Kamar, and the U.S. Trade Representative, Catherine Tai. The U.S. delegation will be accompanied by other senior-level officials as well. The meeting comes at a time when Pakistan has very recently carried out these senior-level interactions on defense talks and the interactions between Counselor of the U.S. State Department, Derek Sholay, and Pakistani officials. What could this recent interaction mean for the bilateral trade? And how different is it from the last two interactions that culminated between the officials of both sides? First up, we told you in an earlier dispatch that Pakistan and the U.S. are dehyphenating their security and non-security related areas through a structured framework of cooperation. Second, while the bilateral trade between the two sides has increased over the last four years, the upcoming meeting between the U.S. Trade Representative and the Commerce Minister suggests the two sides are seeking to scale up the trade under such a structured framework. Pakistan and U.S. bilateral trade volume was reported at around 10 billion U.S. dollars, and Pakistan appears to enjoy an overall trade surplus with the United States. Third, under the upcoming interaction, the U.S. side is seeking to boost the exports of beef and soybean, while Pakistani side anticipates to expand the share of its agricultural and IT sector exports, as well as the collaborations in the knowledge economy sector of the country. It is important to mention, while the U.S. has had an overall trade deficit with Pakistan, its agricultural exports to Pakistan are far higher than similar products it imports from the South Asian country. Agriculture contributes to over 22% of Pakistan's GDP. However, its overall agricultural export have been less impressive due to the challenges in the sector's ability to have high-quality storage and processing, as well as the lower investments in the value-added industry. This trend is also obvious in the dairy industry as well. Despite being among the third largest producers of milk, Pakistan's dairy value-added exports are not so impressive. And as per a PIED study, if things are done right, Pakistan's dairy exports alone can rise to 30 billion US dollars. Fourth, tapping the US foreign investment in the agricultural sector can help scale up Pakistan's agricultural exports to the US, as well as in the immediate and distant regions. And fifth, as the US seeks to diversify the global supply chain, instead of seeing Pakistan as a market, it is important to see it as an important strategic partner in the global supply chain network. This way, the two countries can vertically and horizontally scale up the business collaboration. This arrangement is suited for both the countries as Pakistan seeks to balance a no-camp policy between US and China under its national security policy. And the US, for its part, will have an equally competitive footing in different trade sectors of Pakistan. While Pakistan and the US have much to work on to improve their trade relations, we hope this interaction will provide a structured framework to take the progress forward more suitably and sustainably. I'm Tayyab Anasar Khan, and this was your Daily Dispatch.